I gotta be really careful here. If I get down, he can win this. I'm using this basically as like a smoke grenade distraction. Dead. Bro, what? You're... <laughs> Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to another Warzone video. In today's video, we're starting up a new series called Warzone Sniper School, where I give you my advanced sniping strategies, whether it's in solos, duos, trios, or squads, I am live walking through my gameplay, how I'm getting people to repeat, how I'm able to chow and win sniper v sniper, and what I'm doing to outplay my opponents. There are some brilliant 200 IQ stuff in this game that I am thrilled to to share with you if you guys are excited about this please let me know by liking this video and commenting down below sniping is something i am pretty well known for and i really want to help you guys out it's an interesting idea to do an entire series based around it but if you guys like the idea please let me know by watching this video all the way through to the end and letting me know in the comments as well without further ado watch the rest of today's video and enjoy some breakdowns live of some absolute finesse and some absolute 200 iq outplays and i'll see you all in the next one both here on youtube and live over on Twitch. Oh, and one other thing before we get started, you'll see in this video, I'm talking a lot about the FFAR. Now, originally going up to this gameplay, I did some research and I thought that the FFAR had the best stats for the best sniper support in Warzone. Well, after reviewing it for this video, I realized it's pretty dang good, but I would be lying to you, be disingenuous if I said, this is the best sniper support. Things like the Cold War AK-47 and some of the long range SMGs are better. So it's still really solid, but I didn't want to clickbait you. I, I, I wanted to do right by you guys. So I want to be forthright. It's good, but the real value of this video happened to be the fact that we are starting a new series on the sniper strategies that you're going to see me pull off in this video. So, just wanted to be full disclosure with you on this one. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And once again, let me know down below if you're excited about the Sniper School series. Peace. Well done. Oh, look, another dead silence. How do I make the plate sound go away? The plate sound actually doesn't go away. It's just that I'm slide canceling. Messes with the animation of the plates. I don't plate any faster than you do. I don't plate any quieter than you do. Oh, look, a dead silence. I thought I heard something. I did. They should keep iron trials permanently. Better yet, they should take Iron Trials and turn it into competitive and have a competitive game mode. Oh, wait, did I miss Joe's message? Hmm. Gone. Out of there. Wait. Inventory full. Oh, no. Friendly loadout drop on the line. Requesting area recon. Flush them out. Nice. Getting greedy. Caught him greedy. Oh, my gosh. All right. Dope. Um... Bounty is outside of here. Waypoint marked. Move. All right, there we talk about it all the time. I swing the corner. I'm missing too many shots, right? He's over to my left. I basically reset the fight, but I live ping him before I swing. So that way, when I swing around the corner, I know exactly where I need to pre aim. Enemy UAV, okay. And then I get Peeker's advantage. He either has to continue to pre fire, which he may not have the ammo for that. Granted, he had an MG82. But then after I jump, he has to laterally track me. So. If you start a gunfight off, man, and it, it, it doesn't feel right, right off the bat, it's like, ah, mm, I'm missing a lot of shots. Reset the gunfight. I 
same thing right there. Me doing this is all Eager's advantage. Now, granted, the way ping works in this game, even if I have Eager's advantage and I get back down and on my screen, I'm down, if he shoots at the right time on his screen, I can still die. That's what's like, what? No, I was crouched. What? It'll still happen. You gotta be careful. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Ah, oh, I can see you, you <laughs> Hold that. What the f <laughs> Requesting recon, looking for prey. Oh, I thought he was dead. Lower. Oh, bus. Oh, my laser. I think you even take reduced damage from shooting through windows, too. Be advised, UAV is being go fuel. RTB for resupply. An angle I can get. Imagine that hit. I would be featured in your favorite accusations video. Requesting recon, looking for Ooh, is right. Ooh. Oh my God. Sweet. So as you can see there, just taking different angles as we go into those gunfights. I know people are camping on the high ground, especially as you push with a um, a vehicle. You can take yourself out of those choke points. It is just a Simtex spam or something to get that information. When I went to push the second guy right, I tried to snipe him through that window. Unfortunately, I can't shoot through those. I've used them myself in customs all the time to try to like get angles on enemies. Um... But I push in, I hear him open up a wooden door on my lower right. So I know he's wrapping around. I Simtex one angle, so that way he can't push that angle. And if he does, he's going to get hurt. And then I Simtex the other angle, anticipating his push, right? Because I, I hear him opening up the door. I hear him pushing. Like, he's, he's a little bit more of an aggressive player. Uh, take that guy out. The school guy, uh, when I was reading my radar, I, for some reason, thought the guy was at, uh, I thought the guy was at restaurant, and I almost, right, the, the UAV pinged here, but I thought he was at restaurant right there. That could have gotten me killed very easily, but fortunately, I recognized it and fixed it. Any solo duo iron trials today? Probably not, because we're gonna, we're gonna link up with Aiden here in a bit. Oh, that was a smoke grenade. Nice play on his part. I knew when I got that first track track with the uh, Swiss, I was going to be set. Try not to stand still. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Hey, you got one shot. You got to hit it, man. That is a disgusting heady. Come on, keep peeking it. Oh my god! Sniping in this game is so easy. You've got very little bullet drop. Insane bullet velocity. Honestly, it was really dumb. It was super, super dumb for me to chow right there in the middle of this open field. If I'm going to chow that guy, I have self-revive, right? I need to be chowing him closer to this vehicle, so that way, even if I do in my absolute ego 
get downed, I've got a place where I can self-revive. If I got downed initially, he could have thirsted me and I would have been pretty upset with recon. myself for letting that happen. For the AO. The AO. I'm Enemy UAV overhead. Pretty predictable there what that guy was going to do. He had to use the, the animation of getting into the vehicle so he didn't get ran over. I accidentally popped that second UAV. I didn't mean to. Okay, so last known location is upper right here, which means he's crossing the street. Isaac. He was getting shot. I don't know where from, though. Oh, no. Oh, dude, I thought I had him with the drop shot, man. X and four beams. That's fair. Yeah, he followed that drop shot perfectly. To the gulag. Sort them out or capture the objective. Nice. So. Hmm. I don't know if this is safe, but I do know that this is safe and there's a dead body near it. So I'm going to start my regain right here. Loot the bodies that I've killed. See someone dropping in off in the distance. Heck, is that guy using? Oh, actually, Bruin's not bad anymore. There is a sniper right here I can pick up. I'm hearing a lot of UAVs popping. I'm using my vehicle for cover as I spot this guy off in the distance. He's got... I'm waiting for him to shoot once because that window right now is uncracked. I need him to shoot one time. There it is. Because now I can child the window and get a one-shot headshot. If I if I shot first, that window would be open, but that window would be there, and even if I headshot him, I wouldn't be able to kill him. But since I waited for him to shoot, he cracked the window, and then you can one-shot headshot through a cracked window. Let's see if we can get that FFAR back. Requesting area recon. Flush them out. Okay, UAV's clear. My loot should still be there. I'm gonna flip a vehicle, just flex. May not have. Yeah, okay. I can any information on my UAV. Closest information I've got is a guy on the hill deep. <clears throat> I try to see if I can get my Swiss back. He should be visible. Boom, FFAR back in the hands. I'm trying to get that heartbeat sensor. Get the heartbeat. I'm going to slow down for a second. I already used my gulag. Can't really make any more mistakes. So, game plan. Off UAV, get information. Get the bounty. This guy up here is over the crest of the hill. No angle there, but I do have an angle on these two guys. Down one. I've got to be careful of the guy on my left. I gotta be really careful here. If I get down, he can win this. I'm using this basically as like a smoke grenade distraction. Dead. Bro, what? You're. <laughs> I'm driving. Okay, so if we remember. I still had one guy, I think he was in this building. I can go for this. 
but I'm not going. Well, actually, I can't even afford a UAV yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and go for the bounty. Go for the bounty. Slow it down. We know that guy wasn't ghosted. Check heartbeat just in case. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. Okay. I know this guy's somewhere above me. There he is in the window. Fly cancel chow. <gasps> Missed the headshot, but fortunately hit the second one. I was, that was really bad. I majorly overexposed myself there by pushing after I hit the shot. Um, got a little bit too cocky there, and that definitely could have cost me. But fortunately, I was able to prone, hit the drop shot, and still give me enough cover. It's turned into a sniper clinic more than it has an FFAR, but every gunfight I've had with the FFAR so far has felt super clean. I'm gonna take the truck for obvious reasons, even though it's hurt on health. Actually, it's black smoke. Not gonna take it. I'm gonna stick with Old Faithful over here. So just keep that in the back of our mind. If someone does take that truck, that it is super weak. We should be able to just one clip it and disable it. Recon Ideally, I should have proned out when I hit that by there. But we're all good. And we still have a guy. That was a different guy. The guy I killed was ghosted. We have a different guy still camping inside of there. Looks like he's starting to rotate out now. Yep, he's starting his rotations. I should be able to meet him on the bottom floor of school. He's right there. What the heck? I th I'm think he accidentally got in my vehicle. What the heck? Recon. Okay, now it's time to start thinking about power positions. We gotta be careful. I don't I don't have a, a trophy on this or anything, so I could get one C forward. Got one guy up in the building up here. This building right here is a major power position, but it's most likely someone's camping in their ghost. So we're gonna anticipate someone to be in here and play smart. Airstrike. I went inside aggressively just because that could have been a preemptive airstrike. And based off the fact that this is unlooted, no windows are broken. And I hear crates. Uh, I'm gonna play it as if no one is here. A little risky to do that. Sometimes people like to leave crates unopened as bait. When I heard that airstrike go off, I forced and just got in as quick as I could. I have self revived, so I'm comfortable peeking these windows. I can't get thirsted by an airstrike. I'm trying to get a lay of the land. See wherever everyone's at. Hearing some gunshots down there. We've got a full health truck. Um, we may end up using it, so I'm not going to disable it, but I do have a combat bow if I need to do some damage to it later. So keep that in mind. And let's see where the Gas pull is. Okay. You safe zone. That truck Get might actually be the play in, like, playing that Wait, building over there. Part. So that's going to be Move. what I'll go for. That guy's camping in a building for a reason. It's weird, man. It's like... This lobby's so 50-50. It's either a demon, or it's just a hyperbot. And I'm okay with that. Because we've had a lot of demon lobbies today. I am perfectly fine with a little bot action. So I'm going to get the truck. And it, it, it's a risky play, but I really am doing it because... Shoot. Oh my gosh, Isaac. So I disabled the truck, and I was trying to get it to blow up. Oh, no. Okay, I can't get my loadout now until I deal with that sniper. I don't know where the sniper is. I'm just switching to faster movement speed weapon. Spotted the sniper up on the bridge. Making sure I'm not chowling in a place where I can get shot in the back and thirsted. Looking for the sniper to jump. Shot in the back. Got a buy here that I can hit. But I don't have money. I'm dumb. I can heartbeat. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, this is just a terrible spot to be. And next zone pushes me out. Checking commonly camped areas. I feel like he's up there. I still have self revive. I've got what two, three combat bows left. No vehicle. A couple vehicles left in play though. Yep, there he is. 
kind of crouch spamming to make sure I don't get taken out by a sniper. Pretty sure he's still up there. We're going to keep an eye on our lower just in case he pushes lower. Second heartbeat. Risky, but taking height. Pushing. Trying to get money. He had enough, thank goodness. Get a UAV. Get the UAV quick. Grab the combat bow. Everyone is ghosted on the map. We're going to use natural terrain now based off of looking at the map. I know I've got a ridge in front of me. Push into that ridge. I haven't cleared out my lower right. Clear out my lower right. Feeling better. I hear those shots, but I'm more worried about this truck possibly rolling me over. Hit it once. He got out. Now I know I've got the guy on my top right to worry about. 2v... 1v1v1. 1v1. Last guy was in the car. Table the vehicle. And I'm taking... I have no info, right? Got gas moving in. <gasps> and I threw. Wow. I would have won that on controller 500 times out of... He, we made the exact same play. That's what I'm talking about. Like, demon players? Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, that was such a fun game. Hey, GG's only. He had a really nice reach out. And that's where it's like sniper versus AR. I win that if I'm... Or it's like sniper support. AR versus SMG. That was a great game, man.